The best way to chat with me and my friends is through Discord. Click in the description below and head right over to it. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Cosmodo, and today I'm going to be playing Sonic Roboblast 2. I already played the game, and here are my thoughts. So, if anybody's played Sonic 3D Blast, where the camera has an overhead screen and you're playing as Sonic, your goal is to catch a bunch of pick, um, a bunch of uh, pickies, or, or, or flickies, I'm sorry, and then you have to bring them into a certain warp, and then you are able to go to the next level. This is kind of similar, but in, in, the only difference is you don't have to worry about the flickies at all, or the, or, the, um, or the bunnies, or anything like that. All you have to do is just try to get to the other side of the map as best as you can, and as, again, this game is all about exploring, and from what I found in this game, it, there's a lot to explore. What I'm gonna give you guys is raw content right now So you guys are gonna be seeing me probably struggle trying to get to certain parts of the game and trying to figure out some of the controls in the beginning the controls in are Completely screwed me up, and I feel like we're, they were too fast at first when I when I when I started playing I was like whoa this is he's moving way too quick, but then I said for a second, alright, stop, this is Sonic the Hedgehog we're talking about, this is Sonic the Hedgehog, the fastest thing alive. So as you can see, as I'm like blasting through, trying to like, keep control of Sonic, it was still an experience for me, because not only is it a 2D version turned into a 3D replica, it's just another memory lane where you want to relive that certain game as a child, or like as if you were in the arcade playing the game. I love the I love the back I love the animations I love the uh, the pixel spray art I love how when you turn in certain directions Sonic has that little angle so you can see like when he turns to an angle you see his nose or like the side of his face or when he's behind you you can only see like the multiple spikes or and then you get to see the side the front of his face when he's um, moving downward the music was really good I really liked how each part of the map or uh, each map had its own style sound to it and it what really what really really got me is the first map was a green hill base but it wasn't a green hill song because most saw most green hill so most green hill maps have that green hill song you know what I mean so it was a nice little change to have a different song that wasn't just the constant green hill and to have tails by your by your side is is pretty nice because you know it's Robo Blast 2. Why not have him there? And I know and Knuckles is in there too, but it's just it's just weird. He's I don't even know I, he's just irrelevant. <laughs> I'm just worried about Sonic and Tails. So the exploring it, it's very open map based. It shows again like Sonic Utopia. What could Sonic be when you are in 3D form? And it's not trying to get from point A to point B in one track. It's just. You can explore as best as you can, as much as you want, and then if you want, you can take the same route, or you can go a different route. Whatever route was in front of me, I kind of just went with it, and, like, again, that's how Sonic was. He sees it, he'll go for it, and if he wants to go somewhere else, he'll go for it. It's kind of like how we all are. Like, we, we, see, a, we see a choice of, of paths in life, and we want to take it, and sometimes we think about it and don't do it, sometimes we think about it and we do it. That's what I kind of like about Sonic games, about this, these Sonic games, like the, the, the way they use are designed, with multiple paths that lead to the same way, which is really good. Um, the animation during certain positions when you're going off of a spring versus the homing attack versus just as simple running where he, and even a sprite uh, or a, a botanic just blowing up it's just it's just really smooth the animation of the what's it called the animation of the clearing stage panel is nice is a nice touch where it spins around and oh yeah the bot uh, robotnik i had a fun time fighting him I like how fighting him also was a, it was a little challenging because I had to keep up with Sonic Speed. It's just a nice touch that you can actually have to worry about how fast Sonic is going because sometimes you could run too fast and you could end up hurting yourself and or you could just end up falling off a cliff. I just find it funny. <laughs> but the Robotnik fight was pretty good. And it was a struggle for me, like I said. I, I had I had a little issue with it, 
But I did manage to get through it. I did manage to get through it. As you can see, the fight happening right now. I'm currently, I was currently uh, getting my butt kicked. Like, it was okay, but I was currently getting my butt kicked. And it's just fun to play a game that's actually challenging and where you obviously don't have to worry about, wow, obviously I'm going to win this because of the homing attack where it takes like only three hits. You don't know, I, I didn't know how many hits it was taking to beat Eggman. I was like, this is crazy. It takes like five at least. And then after the fifth hit, I'm like, he's got to be done. It's got to be done. No, there was more. There was more. So, it's not like the homing attack is so easy now. You can go all different directions. It's, I don't know. It's just, I'm babbling now because I'm, I'm just so impressed with this, with this game, with this game design and what they, like, I just wish, I just wish Sega could do this again. Like, they can just make these games. But they're, they're trying to make Sonic with the boost, they're trying to involve the boost, and I get that, the boost, um, ability. But, the thing is, if they applied that to a map that's open world, it'd be different. It's re- like I said in Sonic Utopia, Sonic should not be in a very tight space where you have to get to the other spot as fast as you can. The point of Sonic is about exploring an adventure. Like, there's all different directions that you can go. Like, in the Sonic world, have you ever watched the Sonic shows? He's all over the place. Same thing. Wait, long story short, the game's really good. I love how each level gives its interpretation of direction, try to make you figure out where to go, wherever you need to be. You gotta find out which way is possible to get to the, ne uh, get to the final level, or the final part of the level. And that's why I enjoy these Sonic games, because these fan games are created for our entertainment, and not only is it for our entertainment, but it's because these are these amazing artists out, out there that are trying to make Sonic better. Some of them are trying to make Sonic worse, but then there are some that actually have potential and skill that will someday work for Sega and bring these ideas to the table, and people will just say, yeah, I like this idea, why didn't we think of that? And then... It's like, well, it's because these artists weren't here, that's why. But this is Sonic Robo Blast 2. I had a lot of fun with it. I definitely recommend anybody that wants to try this out, check in the description below. It's there for downloads. You can also mod the game if you want to add, like, the modern Sonic version, or if you wanted to add uh, anything else, pretty much. Um, by the way, at the end, I know my voice is sounding very all rusty. I've been trying to i've been oversleeping i've been training for this tournament i got coming up on on friday of march 5th of i don't even know march i can't keep it up march uh 13th so march 13th i'll be uh at a tournament and i just want to let you guys know friday uh march 15th to the 21st i will be on vacation so you guys may not hear from me as much i will be constantly uploading videos though videos will be uploaded as normal so you guys will be like i never even left that's very much it though thank you guys for watching i really appreciate this this is sonic Grove blast 2 i'm cosmeto that just happened get the game guys it's real good bye guys